So I always ask you guys, how have you been creative? And I'm gonna show you what I've been up to. Uh, all of these, I made a lot of headbands last night actually. I couldn't sleep and so when I can't sleep, I like to be creative so I made all of these. I have a lot and I'm wearing a new one too. But that's how I'm staying creative is by sewing. And, all right, so, I gotta clean that up later. Uh, let's get to value. Today's value lesson is going to be inspired by the ocean. You're gonna need uh, paint today. You can use your, remember how I taught you how to make the watercolors out of washable markers? Or watercolors if you have it, or any kind of paint. So, bloop, bloop, bloop. Let's get ready. So today we're going to learn a few watercolor techniques. And this one might be a little bit of a longer video because I'm gonna go one by one on these techniques. When we use watercolors, watercolor can be broken down into two words, water and color. So um, these watercolors right now, I like to say are not activated. And what activates the watercolors are, or what it is, is water. So we have to wake up the watercolors. And how we do that is you're gonna take your brush, dip it in some water. If you, do, I know a lot of you may not have this uh, palette like this at home, which is totally fine. You can use a plastic uh, plate or like a to-go box or a glass plate. You just need um, an area to make your palette. So let's say that the first color I'm gonna use is green so I need to wake up the green I am going to dip the water and so if you want to use other colors you're going to add a little bit of water into each of the little paint homes but you see every time that I'm going to switch my color I wipe my brush because I don't want to get my colors dirty we're not going to use black today so you see we're Kind of like, come on guys, wake up. We're giving them a little tap. Not like when your parents wake you up or your grandparents wake you up because you're still sleeping. This is like a gentle, hey guys, wake up. It's time to get up. And not like a wake up. Because usually that's how you guys have been waking up your pants. You're like, wake up. But that's not how we wake up watercolors. So you let it sit a little bit. And if we're going to use green first, I'm going to mix put my brush in there and I'm gonna put some of the color on the side so you see a watercolor we don't need that much color what we need is more water so I'm gonna make a little value scale here you see I have my three colors well let's do let's do four so like on your plate you would add the four so four little swatches now I'm gonna clean my brush this is going to be my middle color right here my true hue if I want to make it lighter I'm going to add a little drop of water if I want to make it even lighter the lightest I'm going to add several drops of water if I want to make my color darker I can either I can add I'm going to pick up just a little bit of this blue and I'm going to add a little drop of blue and I'm gonna mix it, maybe a little bit more. Remember, switch color, wash the brush. Swish, swish, I'm gonna pick up some more of that blue, dip it in there, and you can see I've already changed the color. Clean my brush, I forgot to mix this. See, there's a, a lighter green, my true green. Maybe this can have a little, one more little drop. And now if I want to make my darkest, I'm not going to use black. I'm going to use purple. I'm going to dip some purple in there, mix it up. Ooh, now it's a little too purpley. So it's a lot of back and forth. See, art is never finished. You always go back and forth. Oh, yeah. There you go. And look, I have a value scale right there of paint. 
which actually I'm going to start then on my gradient. And I'm gonna show you that right here. A gradient is another word for like your value scale. So I'm gonna go from um, light to dark and I'm gonna wet my brush and move it over. And I'm going to pick up my paint. And like I said, it's more water than paint. And then my next color, again, wash your brush. My next color is that true green. Then I'm gonna wash my brush. Add the next green. And then finally, my darkest and so once it dries a little bit you're gonna you can see it now too you see the dark going into the dark or light going into the dark now I see I have a little too much there I can paint it over remember we don't want to go from dark to light because then if we go like this what happens to all our light colors they disappear and you can always clean out your water once it gets a little muddy so I always I have my little water here that I'm gonna pour so that's how we make our gradient and now I'm gonna show you a technique so we're gonna start with wet on dry that means that your brush is wet and you're going to pick up your color so I have my color there on my palette. My paper is dry and I'm just gonna paint. So that's my wet on dry. Oops, sorry guys. Which is also a flat wash. A flat wash means you're not mixing anything, you're not making a gradient, it's just your color, your solid color there. I used my darkest green for that one, but there we go. And then wet on wet, I like wet on wet a lot. And that one is you're gonna wet your paper. So my paper is wet. And then I'm gonna take my wet paint. So let's say this one right here. Take my wet paint and you guys like to say it's like a galaxy but you see the color is diluted. That means there's less of the pigment, less of the color. So this is nice for when you're gonna blend colors, like I'll show you. Let's say I got some of this blue, right? So my blue is wet, and I'm gonna add it to the, ooh. Yeah, that's looking like a galaxy. I love it. Okay, then a resist. I love a resist. We always use, well, we use a lot of our uh, oil pastels, but if you don't have oil pastels at home, you can use crayons. I'm using my little twistable. And so, you know, you make, you can draw your designs. It doesn't have to be white. It could be whatever color you have. You know what, let's change it up. Let me wake up some of this purple. Wake up purple. I put it there so it's woken up and let me wet my brush a little bit and now I'm going to see wherever I drew with the crayon the paint is not going to stick there oh I didn't press hard enough because that was supposed to be a heart but now it just looks like a bunch of lines which is great and then our other technique is called lifting and so if I have, lifting is where we're gonna take, you can take a, net, a paper towel or plastic even. Let me put this down over here. And so remember I was making all the headbands so I have all this leftover fabric. So I'm going to lift up the color. And you see I'm lifting, I'm picking up some of that color you can use plastic gives you a different like some saran wrap also gives you different textures 
So it's up to you. Ooh, this one's a fun one too. So I'm gonna go back, let me scooch this over. And I'll pick up my paint. So I'm gonna paint my little circle, painting it in. And then I'm gonna take some salt and I'm going to sprinkle it on to my paint and you can see that the salt is absorbing all of that water and that color so when this dries I'm going to push it off and it's going to have a nice little effect like these little white dots are going to show up because the salt is taking up all of that color Oh, look, there goes my wet on wet, kind of mix in a little more. But these are the techniques. And I'm going to do these on really fast so you can see. But this is dabbing, lines, and scumbling. And I'll show you that in a bit. So I'm going to do my dabbing. That's like kind of little dots. Now my lines and my scumbling, my little scribbles. So your challenge is going to be draw an underwater scene. I'm going to start with my colors because I'm going to do a wax resist. So I'm going to have my seaweed and my little octopus. And I got my colors ready already. If you see, I did my light to dark. And now I'm going to make my gradient. I'm going to start with the light on the top, darkest on the bottom. When you finish, please take a photo and upload to Class Dojo or tag me on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget about the art contest going on the Aldine webpage. Happy art making!